വെൽക്കം ടു കൃഷി സഞ്ജീവൻ മെഡിസിനൽ പ്ലാന്റ് കൾട്ടിവേഷൻ ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് എ പ്രോഫിറ്റബിൾ അഗ്രി ബിസിനസ് എം ഇറ്റ് ദിസ് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ക്രൈസിസ് ആസ് വി ഓൾ ഓർ അവയർ ദ എൻറ്റയർ ഹ്യൂമൻ റേസ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ എ വെരി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അൺ ആൻറ്റിസിപ്പേറ്റഡ് ക്രൈസിസ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ടൈംസ് യെസ് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ഹാവ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടെയിൽ ഓൾ ടുഗദർ വെദർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സെൽഫ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ദം സെൽഫ്സ് ആസ് മെനി റൂമേഴ്സ് മഷ്റൂം or nature induced this time human's health and mental caliber is put on test at this point there is certainly a rethinking on going back to the books and following the basics in our life the entire world is putting efforts to discover a cure for the covid-19 pandemic which dio volente shall happen many health doyans have opined that boosting the body's immune system can help to minimize the effect and hasten the recovery from the disease it is here that medicinal plants shall emerge as a redeemer as suggested by ministry of ayush government of india it has been recommended to drink katha formulation it is made of tulsi leaves cinnamon dry ginger powder and black pepper for self care and immunity boosting measure statistics also show that the consumption of medical herbs is increasing day by day at a very fast pace hence it is evident that covid 19 pandemic is offering a very comfortable business opportunity to the farmers who are growing or planning to grow medicinal plants india a medi plants hub with 15 agro climatic zones 17000 to 18000 categories of blooming plants of 6000 to 7000 is evaluated to have therapeutic properties this itself shows the richness of our medicinal plants base the use of these medicinal plants is found in all indian societies even though in different forms or methods these detailings are mentioned and archived in indian systems of medicines like ayurveda siddha yunani shivarga then homeopathy and various other traditional treatment methods which are available here a rough estimate shows that around 960 types of medicinal plants are assessed to be in trade of which on 78 species have yearly consumption levels of more than 100 metric tons which when contrasted with the potential is undeniably not up to mark and there is definitely a huge scope for improvement we cannot ignore the huge gap in the supply and demand of medicinal plants to manufacture ayurvedic medicine in india according to the all india trade survey of prioritized medicinal plants 2019 demand for high value medicinal plants increased by 50 percentage while the availability declined by 26 this led to increased habitat degradation and levels of over exploitation by pharmaceutical industries this also resulted in 65 species that is 10 percentage of the total species falling into critically endangered endangered vulnerable and nearly threatened categories india's cultural social literary topographic diversity cities have provided us with a solid traditional healthcare practices that represent various old styles of medicine medication and health maintenance even though more scientific expedition into these horizons are needed but one can notice that this characteristic of the indian so called old styled folk health care traditions is primarily because raw material grown from an enormous multifarious variety of plant species that is roughly numbered to 6500 the first candid attempt at the national level to survey the demand and supply of therapeutic plants in the nation was made by the national medical plant board during 2001 2002 to comprehend yearly trade levels of chosen 162 medicinal plant species from that point the nmpp in 2006 and 2007 commissioned a national report to evaluate demand and supply of medicinal plants in india medicinal plants farming is it sustainable and profitable we would like to say that the cultivation of medicinal plants in a commercial mode is one of the most profitable agri business sectors which can be undertaken by the farmers 
availability of sufficient land owned or leased and potential market availability can lead the farmers to a definite high returns model of business with a moderate investment in india cultivation of medicinal herbs like shanka pushpi atis kut kuki kapilachu karanchar changing the indian agrarian ayurvedic scenes along with the extraordinary opportunities for the farmers to increase their income the market for medicinal plants in india stood at rupees 4.2 billion in 2019 and is expected to increase at a cagr of 38.5 percentage to rupees 14 billion by 2026 The export of herbs and value added extracts of medicinal herbs has been gradually increasing over years. In 2017-2018, India exported 330.18 million US dollars worth of herbs at a growth rate of 11 sorry 14.22 percentage over the previous year. Also exports of value added extracts of medicinal herbs and herbal products in 2017-2018 stood at 456.12 million US dollars recording a growth rate of 12.23 percentage over the previous year the demand for herbal or value added extracts of medicinal herbs is gradually increasing in foreign countries especially in european and other developed countries according to statistics and studies 25 significant medicinal plants are always in full demand they include brahmi long pepper indian barberry licorice etc which is depicted which is described in the description section under the video apart from these medicinal herbs which were mentioned earlier mint aloe vera basil tulsi lemongrass coriander ajwi are also on huge demand now a survey stated by the all india coordinated research project or ethnobiology aicrpe recorded more than 8000 types of wild plants utilized by the tribes and other conventional communities in treating of various medical concerns said all these of the entire fauna only 20% of the species are properly developed and or studied subsidies schemes and initiatives the government of india has taken several measures to promote cultivation and export of medicinal plants to energize the medicinal plants cultivation throughout the country the national medical plants board the nmbp offers up to 75% subsidy to the farmers nmbp has formulated schemes and guidelines for financial assistance in various zones of medicinal plant division secured under promotional and commercial plants relevant both from the government and non government associations farmers across the nation are getting financial assistance by the ayush ministry to empower the cultivation of herbs and other medicinal plants a subsidy as high as 75% is being given as a feature of a centrally sponsored scheme at present many of the medicinal plant species have been prioritized for supporting cultivation across the nation for which subsidy is provided to the farmers there are three types of such subsidies 75% subsidy for highly endangered medicinal plants 50% subsidy for the cultivation of critically declining medicinal plants 30% subsidy for other therapeutic plant species which need support prioritized lists of medicinal plants for cultivation under scheme of nmpb plants eligible for 30% subsidy include 55 species of medicinal plants which include neem brahmi tulsi pipali etc which is also described which is also detailed in the descriptions uh, column after this video the plants eligible for 50% subsidy under the scheme there are total 27 species including katha beel muleti shirish etc which is included under the scheme which is also described or detailed in the description column after this video then comes the plants which are eligible for 75% subsidy A total of 13 species of medicinal plants are eligible for this scheme that is 75% subsidy which include chantan jadamansi atis etc which is also detailed in the description column after this video
The Department of Commerce has set up export promotion councils to promote exports of various product groups and has assigned Shellac and Forest Products Export Promotion Council to mandate exports of herbs and medicinal plants. The export promotion of several herbal products has been assigned to Pharmaceuticals Export Promotion Council. The EPCs facilitate the exporting community and undertake various promotional measures to promote exports of their products. Under the Market Access Initiative MAI scheme of the Department of Commerce, the EPCs or trade bodies are provided with financial assistance to participate and organize trade fairs, buyer-seller meets, reverse buyer-seller meets, research and product development, market studies, etc. The Merchandise Exports from India scheme MEIS provides incentives to the exporting community for specified goods in order to counteract infrastructural inefficiencies and the associated cost of exporting products manufactured in India, thereby giving special emphasis to these products which are of India's export interest and have the capability to generate employment and enhance the country's competitiveness in the world market. The International Cooperation Scheme by the Ministry of Ayush provides financial assistance to exporters to help them participate in trade fairs, organize international business meets and conferences and avail product registration reimbursements. Now, in the coming episode, we shall be going in detail into various other aspects like certification programs, marketing, etc., particularly specified with medicinal and aromatic plants or therapeutic plants. You can have access to the detailed information in the NMBP website www.nmpb.nic.in or you may also post your queries in the comment section after this video.